8.4 kilometers away. And yes, indeed, we have the preconditioning starting up as well for this third party fast charger. Oh, there's a car coming here. And there you heard that the chime only came when I started to back out with my car. Hi there, and welcome to Tech Clower, and welcome to my Tesla Model 3. We haven't had any huge software updates since the huge holiday update we got in December, but there have been some software updates, and I wanted to go through those updates since the last holiday update. So let's first take a look at the release notes, what we got, and then we'll try to show you what these features can do in action. So to see the release notes, you click the car icon, click software, and scroll down here, and click release notes. And it takes a little while to load up. And here we see all the updates. And the holiday update was this one, 2024.44.25.4. So we've already gone through that in another video. It will be linked up here. But the updates that have come since then, those are these updates. So let's go through them from the bottom up. So first of all, we have some minor updates. And it says, weather information is now displayed for both the final destination and the waypoints in your route turn-by-turn -turn list. So in the holiday update or any previous update, we got this update so we could see how the weather is in our destination. But it seems like they've added it for all the waypoints on the route. So that's really good. Uh, the Battle of Polytopia, the Forgotten Aquarian Skin. This update comes with a new Aquarian skin, new languages and balance changes. I have to admit, I haven't played the games a lot, but yeah, we got a game update. Then of course we have some minor fixes and performance enhancements, and also some security fixes and improvements. So the next update is Rear Cross Traffic Jam. It says, when you shift into reverse, a warning sound will play from the direction of an incoming object detected crossing behind you such as a vehicle or a pedestrian. So in a previous update, we got this warning red line when the car detected a car or a person walking behind the car while you're reversing. So in addition to that now, we also get a chime, which I think is really good. The next one is third-party fast charger preconditioning. So previously, when navigating to something else than the Tesla superchargers, the car wouldn't precondition, but now it seems like if you navigate to a third party fast charger, the car will actually preconditioning. That is also really good. Then you hopefully get a faster charge when you arrive at the fast charger, even though it's a third party one. Then we have yet another minor updates, and this time around it doesn't say anything specific, simply minor fixes and performance enhancements, and important security fixes and improvements. But the latest one here is camera visibility detection. What is that? So if I read what we have here, at the end of your drive, you will receive a notification if poor camera visibility is detected. To view these images, go to service, camera visibility. So this is basically detecting if any of the outside cameras on the car are too dirty for the car to use them. It's neat. Then you know when you need to rinse off your cameras. So these are the release notes, so let's try to go through them and show you how this works. So let's first check out the weather information that has been added. So let's navigate to a, for example, to a town on the north coast, like this. And this is not new, we should get weather information on the destination. So let's click here, and destination. We got the weather at our destination, but let's add a stop to a town where I know is on the route to Akureyri. It's called Borganes. And let's see if we can somehow get the weather information there. Yes, as you can see, you get the weather information in the navigation panel there. And of course it went away. Mm, checking if we can see it again. So, yeah, we have it here. So you see it's sunny and one degree Celsius. I'm wondering if we see it here as well. No, it's only the destination. So we get it in the navigation pane here. So it's 
asking me to charge before I leave because my car is low on charge now and we see the added location that I added we also see where we have a supercharger on the route and there we also get the weather information and as well at my final destination so that is really neat then you know how the weather is along the route one thing that we didn't see right away when we got the destination weather update some time ago was the precipitation along the route but I noticed that that simply appeared later on so we click the cloud icon and if we go and zoom out a little bit you can see these green flakes on the screen that's the precipitation on those areas and it seems like on Iceland it's not a lot of precipitation today so that's really neat but if you have a route like we had before we should be able to see if there is any precipitation along the route and that is really cool so it's simply using the cloud icon here and I can turn it off by clicking the cloud icon again and then I won't see the precipitation information anymore so that somehow just got updated over the air without any specific update so let's now see if the car will precondition if I navigate to a third-party fast charger so let's go to charging and we see the superchargers here but we also have some charges that are not superchargers I see one here that is 5.5 kilometers away and you clearly see that the battery is cold because it's minus one degrees on Celsius here at the moment so let's try this one see what happens and it's in the navigation and yes indeed the car starts to precondition the battery and this is really good getting the battery heated up before we start a fast charging session that really helps us get a higher speed when we are charging so I really like this feature but of course if you could have that feature where we can decide when preconditioning pre starts that would be even better but this is really neat for any of the third-party chargers that we can see here it should start a preconditioning session so let's try another one 8.4 kilometers away and yes indeed we have the preconditioning starting up as well for this third-party fast charger so let's see if we can get the rear cross traffic jam to work so first of all you have to go into your settings and into safety and if you scroll down you should see the option rear cross traffic chime and I've already set that to on so let's try to get that to work and see if any cars come behind me when I put my car into reverse oh there's a car coming here and there you heard that the chime only came when I started to back out with my car and you also saw the red line so if we go in again so if I only stay put and don't start backing out I will only get the red line but if I start backing out while there is some car or person detected then I will get the chime so that's really neat I get the red line I see it on the screen but if I ignore it and start backing out I will get the chime so a little bit additional alert that something could be in the way while I'm backing out let's try to reproduce this again so there's a car coming here and I back out and you get the chime so this seems to work really well and I think this is a necessary addition to the cross traffic alert you need to have an audible alert as well what if you're not looking at the screen and you're looking at your surroundings but you don't see the car or person behind you then you get the chime and hopefully you will then think what's happening maybe look at the screen and stop backing out so this is a really great addition to this feature let's see we, if we can reproduce the camera visibility detection thingy I've tried to make the cameras dirty by putting some snow on them let's see what happens when I park my car and put it into park 
You see here that the visibility on this camera is really bad. We didn't get anything up on the screen. So let's see, we should go into service and camera visibility. No camera visibility issues detected. That's strange because there's snow covering at least one camera. So let's try to put more snow on the cameras and see what happens. And you see that both the side cameras and the back camera is blocked. But still no warning. There's a kind of bad visibility of all these three cameras, but still we get no warning on the screen. So let's see in service, camera visibility, no camera visibility is just detected. I'm not sure how this should work then. I would say this is quite a poor visibility of these three cameras. I haven't put any of on the side pillar cameras. Maybe it's those that they are looking at. But it's a little bit difficult to let the snow stick on those. But at least I'm not able to reproduce this feature. But I would think when you have such a poor visibility on three of these cameras, well, now the snow <laughs> went away on this one. I would think that this is a poor visibility for the cameras. At least it's a feature that should work. But maybe the cameras need to be more blocked. But as you can see here, I can't see anything out of the right repeater camera. So I don't know. It's a cool feature, but I'm not able to get it to work. So maybe more cameras need to be blocked or other cameras. But at least if it works, it's a cool feature because then you know if you need to clean some of the cameras in order for the car to be able to detect, for example, cars that are coming when you're changing lanes or just to be able to use autopilot. So nice feature, but a little bit tricky to reproduce manually. But hopefully it works well. So these were all the software updates that I've got to my Tesla Model 3 since the big holiday update. And as I mentioned in the beginning, these are not huge features, but minor improvements to the functionality of the car. And I really like the chime that added to the rear cross-check traffic alert. That really helps that feature to shine more. And if you like this video, please check out my other content on my channel and please consider subscribing because it really helps my channel grow. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. See you in my next video.